Welcome to fourth part of logic gates. In this part, we will complete NAND gate and NOR gate. If you remember the first part, I told you we have three basic gates, three basic gates, and we have two universal gates. The three basic gates are three basic gates are AND OR and not and two universal gates are NAND and NOR this is something we have already covered in first lecture and by universal gates we mean by using NAND gate or NOR gate we can implement any digital system on the other hand we can implement any digital system by using these three gates AND OR and NOT and as you can see NAND gate and NOR gate are not basic gates so we have to obtain NAND gate by using basic gates and in the same way we have to obtain NOR gate by using the basic gates so let's see how we can have NAND gate by using basic gates we obtain NAND gate by complementing the output of AND gate so first we have to make AND gate I will make two input AND gate this is the AND gate the two inputs are A B and now we have to complement the output so I will use one inverter the NOT gate and the output Y is A and B and then whole complement so this is what we have in a NAND gate this whole unit including the AND gate and NOT gate will work as NAND gate and the output if we simplify by using De Morgan's law is equal to A complement or B complement now we will try to find out NOR gate and uh, to obtain NOR gate we have to complement the output of OR gate so I will make 2 input OR gate this is the 2 input OR gate inputs are A and B A B and now I will use inverter the output Y is equal to A R B and then whole complement so this OR gate and this NAND gate together makes our NOR gate and if we apply De Morgan's law Y is equal to A complement and B complement there is one more way to obtain NAND gate and uh, in this we will use OR gate and NOT gate we are not going to use AND gate but we'll use OR gate this is the OR gate and uh, first we will complement we will complement the two inputs so we will use two NOT gates and we'll find the output Y let's say the inputs are A B so we have A complement here and here we have B complement so Y is equal to A complement or B complement and you can see we have the same result when we used AND gate and NOT gate like NAND gate we also have another way to represent NOR gate and we will use one AND gate and first we will complement the inputs A B and the output Y is equal to A complement and B complement which is same now we will move to symbol symbol for NAND gate NAND gate is represented like this AND gate and then we have a small bubble at the end this small bubble represents the NOT gate these are the two inputs Y is the output this is how we represent NAND gate and to represent this arrangement we will first make OR gate and then we will use two bubbles here A B Y is the output and because of this we also call NAND gate bubbled bubbled OR ok now we will move to NOR gate symbol for NOR gate first we will make OR gate and then we will put a bubble at the end
and this arrangement here is represented like this first we will make AND gate we will use two bubbles A B and Y the output and because of this representation we call NOR gate bubbled AND bubbled AND so this is all for symbol now we will move to truth table first we will make truth table truth table for NAND gate I will take two input NAND gate A B are the two inputs and Y is the output in truth table for NAND gate you only have to complement the output of AND gate so it's very simple 0 0 will give us 0 in case of AND gate and complementing 0 will give us 1 0 1 will give us 0 in AND gate so again we have 1 1 0 will give us 0 in AND gate so we have 1 1 1 is 1 in AND gate so here we'll have 0 or you can simply put the values of A and B in this expression A complement or B complement now we will move to truth table for NOR gate truth table for NOR gate and again we will take two input NOR gate A B are the inputs Y is the output 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if you remember the last presentation we obtained the truth table for OR gate and the output Y was 0 1 1 1 and we have to complement it so complementing this values we have 1 0 0 0 so this is the truth table for NOR gate next point is associative law only two logic gates does not follow the associative law and they are NAND and NOR the universal gates does not follow the associative law and uh, commutative law commutative law is followed by both of them NAND gate follows the commutative law and NOR gate also follows the commutative law you can easily prove them next point is enable and disable and I will use this truth table to find out enable and disable for NAND gate first we will analyze these two cases and for the first two cases A is equal to 0 and uh, the output Y is fixed and it is equal to 1 so 0 is disable disable for NAND gate with output with output equal to 1 similarly we will analyze the last two cases in which A is equal to 1 and you can see output Y is 1 when B is 0 and output Y is 0 when B is 1 it means the output is not fixed but it is acting as inverter so 1 is enable enable and it is acting as inverter because B is complemented now we will move to NOR gate and uh, we will first analyze these two cases A is equal to 0 and output Y is equal to 1 when B is 0 Y is equal to 0 when B is 1 this shows output is not fixed and 0 is acting as enable inverter because output is complement of B we will analyze the last two cases in this A is 1 and output is 0 so output is fixed and we can say that 1 is acting as disable disable for the NOR gate with output equals to 0 so this is all for enable and disable next point is unused input unused input in case of NAND gate unused input is treated same as AND gate same as AND gate and in case of NOR gate unused input unused input is treated same as same as OR gate 
So if you don't know how to handle unused input for AND gate and for OR gate, you have to watch last two presentations. So this is all for this lecture. Now we will move to homework problem. Homework problem. There is only one problem in this part and uh, in this problem you have to prove NAND and NOR NAND and NOR does not does not follow the associative associative law you have to prove this and we have already done this for AND gate so you can easily do this so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one